In this video, we're going to walk through how to peer your Google Cloud VMware Engine environment to your project and to your virtual private network. Hi, my name is Raj Jetnani with Google Cloud. Before we actually walk through the steps to perform the actual peering, let's take a look at an overview of the overall concept that we're trying to achieve. On the left side, you've got your on-premises network connected to Google Cloud via the partner interconnect or a direct interconnect. Then we have your Google Cloud Platform Project, your GCP project, where you have your virtual private network. And then on the far right, we have Google Cloud VMware Engine, where you may have one or more private clouds deployed in one or more regions. What we'll be doing here is building the connection between your virtual private network in your GCP project and the Google Cloud VMware Engine. So the links that you see on the right side of the image between the VPC and Google Cloud VMware Engine. Now let's get started with the actual peering steps. First thing we're going to do is go to our Google Cloud project and go to the main menu and visit the VPC network screen. Under VPC networks, you may already have VPCs created. Uh, we'll select the one that we want to peer with uh, and so that GCP can communicate with it. Then we're going to select private service connection. Enable the API if you haven't done so before or haven't leveraged private service connection before and we're going to reserve a slash 24 range by allocating an IP range. If you already have an IP reserved from other PSA uh, connectivity, such as Cloud SQL, you can re-leverage the existing one. In our case, we're going to reserve a slash 24, and all this does is reserves it so that no one can use it in that VPC. Next, we'll click on Private Connections to Services and create the actual connection by selecting Google Cloud Platform and selecting the range that we just created. So let's go ahead and click OK and connect. Now we're going to enable the ability to export and import routes. By default, this only exports routes. So we're going to click on VPC Network Peering, select Service Networking, and hit Edit and Import as well as Export the Routes and hit Save. Now this is done, our private service connection is created, we can go to the VMware Engine portal and establish the peering in the reverse direction. We'll go ahead and click on Network and Private Connection. And in this view, we're going to hit Add Private Connection, select VPC Network from the services. As you can see, we also have a NetApp Cloud Volume peering available. Next, we're going to select the region where our GCP instance is deployed and paste in details of the project we want to peer with, such as the project name, project number, and the VPC ID or the VPC name in this case. This next section about the tenant project ID is something we will get from the VPC details by going to VPC network peering. And under the service networking section, you'll see a peer project ID that we will copy, and this will end in the letters dash TP as in tenant project. And then of course we can leave the routing mode as global or regional. Generally you want to have it as global and it'll show as connecting in the next screen. After a few minutes have passed, you'll see this connecting stage change to connected. And now we can view the routes that are exchanged between your private cloud and your VPC. So as you can see here, we're importing a route from the VPC and we're exporting all the GCV ranges to it. Same thing on your service networking view back in your project. You can view what routes are being imported into your VPC and what is being exported into Google Cloud VMware Engine. And as you can see, these are all showing as accepted by peer under status. Now that we have the ability to reach our VMware Engine components, let's vverify that we're able to log into vCenter and other pieces of the environment by spinning up a Google Compute Engine VM. And in this case, I'm going to go ahead and RDP to my existing virtual machine that exists in Compute Engine. And once we're in the actual machine, as you can see, that I'm able to launch a browser and visit the vSphere login page. Let's go ahead and test a few network connectivity tests by pinging other components within the vSphere management range in order to verify connectivity, which, as you can see, is coming back as well. You can perform this VPC peering step in order to reach other Google Cloud VMware regions, as well as connect the existing region to multiple virtual private networks. So in effect, you have the ability to peer against multiple virtual private networks. 
For more information about Google Cloud VMware Engine, check out VMware Cloud Tech Zone.